Welcome back to another segment of the Elden Ring Guide. Today we're going to walk you through the Murkwater Cave and events in the surrounding area, show you how to defeat all the enemies and find all the items, and if you find this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Murkwater is the little canyon river that runs from Lake Agil up to the end of the lower plateau of Limgrave. Enter this canyon from Lake Agil while riding Torrent to avoid poison clouds emitted by land squirts. Crossing under the bridge, you'll find a fire grease on the right and encounter skeletal bandits and militiamen. Undead enemies like these will collapse to the ground and glow when their HP is reduced to zero. Then you must strike them again while they're down to finish them off. Fail to do so, and they will resurrect and attack again at full health. Continuing north on Torrent, you will automatically dismount when you reach the entrance to Murkwater Cave. This occurs because an invader has started entering your world. Soon, Bloodyfinger Neurogis appears as an invader, all in red, slightly north of the cave. He attacks using powerful daggers with bleed capabilities and ranged attacks, meaning he can take down your health very quickly, if not single shot kill you. Equip a shield, block his quick dagger thrusts, and dodge his power stabs, maintain medium range from Neragis, and play defensively because help is on the way. Approximately 45 seconds after Neragis appears, Bloody Finger Hunter Yura will join your world as an ally. His attacks will distract Neragis from you, but you cannot rely on Yura to fight this battle for you. Heal up and attack Neragis from behind, then back away and let Yura ambush him. Like any invading NPC, Neragis can heal himself once using his own flask and then he'll run out. <laughs> Defeating Neragis awards the player with the Reduvia, an amazing legendary bleed dagger he was using. Yura returns to his world, but if you want to meet him or speak to him further, simply ride Torrent North and under the ruins covering the canyon to find him. Ride back to where you dismounted Torrent when Neragis invaded and enter the Murkwater Cave. Using a torch can help light the way better, but the cave has a simple layout and several lit areas. Activate the Side of Grace inside. 
Pick up the cave moss and proceed to the next chamber. You'll see some highwaymen in the sunlit cave and the one roaming around will move to attack. There are tripwire bell traps that will alert several other enemies in the next cave. Avoid signaling the others by carefully following the path the first highwayman used to come at you. Fighting directly outside the cave may cause a couple of highwaymen to emerge from the cave and attack. Three more wait inside. The chest in here contains a mushroom. Return to the previous cave and enter the side cave. There's a fog veil blocking the next cave, but there is not much need to prepare for the boss. Just enter and move across the cave and open the chest. Well, well, well. Thought you'd just help yourself to a man's personal belongings, huh? You scheming little thief. The gods demand repentance. Puff up your coin. All of it. His wind-up on his lance attacks is long, providing you time to counter with quick attacks and guard counters. When his health falls below half, he'll start begging to surrender. Surrender. White flag and all. If you stop attacking him and wait, the boss fight soon ends and he'll give you a Golden Rune 1 and the Grovel for Mercy emote. Well, finally come round, have you? <laughs> Speak to him and he'll promise to set up a shop. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? A true man of reason. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> you can leave the cave using the nearby pool of light, but you can also reload the area simply by quitting your game and restarting. Well, nice of you to drop in. It's all a bit ad hoc, but I'm sure you'll find something. Patches sell some great items including Gold Pickled Fowl Feet and the Missionary's Cookbook 2, which allows you to craft your own version of Gold Pickled Fowl Feet. You can also buy Grace Mimics and Margit's Shackle, a unique item you can use in an upcoming boss fight. You can still grab the items out of the chest opened previously, and there's another new chest in the corner. If you ask Patches about this chest, he provides a misleading answer. Hmm. Wondering what's inside the treasure chest. Opening the new chest triggers a teleporter trap, and your first betrayal by Patches. Well, well, well. I should have known, you skinny little thief. The gods demand vengeance! Vengeance! You just can't trust the guy. You'll be teleported into the Mistwood Forest in East Limgrave, right between two giant rune bears. Simply call Torrin and gallop away before either of them notice. We'll cover the Mistwood in our next episode. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide to Nerigus and the Murkwater Cave, and if you did, please click the like button. Consider subscribing if you're enjoying this content and would like to see more, and have a great day.